that is definitely being ignorant. Yeah, well, I just didn't know. So, Ryu, 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 Ryu? I'm gonna go with Ryu. Ryu, okay, Ryu the, versus Bella. There's no other syllables you can make up with it. Ryu, yeah, I, there's no other way to, I, I think we can say, uh, we can say, maybe it's Ruh. It's either Ruh or Ryu, it's, more like, it's most likely Ryu. I mean, it don't matter right now, because right now, Ryu is eating all these explosives to the face. Yeah. I mean, that's the thing, so Isabel, people are saying that they can do well because of the pocket, but you can only pocket one thing, right? Correct. And you can't pocket all of them, you can pocket the L-Smash, the, the, the nades as well, but right now, it's just gonna be this camping game that we're both gonna enjoy quite a lot. With these, with, he's gonna be facing out with these nares and back airs while the snake is gonna slowly make its way forward. What I'm interested about though is if you pocket a grenade right before it explodes, is it still on its old time or does it reset? It doesn't reset. It doesn't reset. It just comes out. Ah. Yep. Okay, uh, then what about a uh, Nikita? Nikita rocket? It'll just go. It'll go out in, in a straight line. You want. Yeah. Oh, okay. And up smash will. Kind of go up and down. That's not how, how it works. Ooh, with dash attack coming out. Could you could you argue that dash attack is Snake's best projectile? I mean, his arms are intangible, so I would say probably. Um, I would honestly, I would say his best move is grenade. Because like frame one. Frame one, and it's like get out of like jail free card because you're like if you're getting jungled, they have to like precisely not hit you. the grenade, but still hit you. And Isabel's got the pocket, so he's gonna go ahead and go for there. But once he's two percent, he is. One grab away from dying with that confirm. And Snake right now can nice use the down smash. Yeah. Is able to reach under the ledge as well as able to two frame, so great job of him pulling it out. It just feels like Isabel is kind of getting overwhelmed right now with all these projectiles. Because yeah. like as a zoner, you don't want to get into zoning game when a guy can do it way better than you. Can Isabel down B be detonated or does it just when you walk over it? Um, it can be detonated. You can actually the reason that oh well first of all, great job by taking the stock like that, making sure not to get any extra percent off. The problem with Isabel's down special, how people were excited that the like snakes down smash and brawl, what happens is that you can actually hit it. And it will you kill it like a soul character will use down tilt and kill. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's like the problem with it. So Rue doing a pretty good job right now. He's actually coming back and using these greatly spaced aerials. I just got to the jump. And he's actually and remember the I net. The, 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 I think everyone gets caught off guard by that because typically it's like it's a special feature for only this character that a grab can pocket something. Especially and also with villagers. Or interact with an item. It's like the only grab in the game that interacts with an item to my knowledge. Yeah, it is. I mean, it's really interesting. The application of it is really minimal, though. Like, yeah, I mean, if you whip a grab, at least you know you have a... And, like, say, like, he dropped a grenade and you whip the grab, at least you pick up the grenade, you know? It, it's a small little thing, and you'll take it, but as well as the fact that the grab also is, has some really bad head lag. Can you pocket the C4 as it's dropping in the air? No. It isn't... It, the C4 isn't treated as a projectile. I mean, it'd be very weird if you did, because then how would you, how would you detonate it, you know? And you just have to throw it out. I mean, it could be like, uh, I don't know what it could be. I don't like. know what it could be. Yeah, but probably it's, why it's not. Yeah, but right now there's a lot of zoning control being done by Ryu. Yeah. He's actually able to space it out. I remember Snake just managed to go for the read. Actually, great job. That's not confirmed just that he tried to go for a roll read, expecting his belt to roll to set the stage, but great job. Great discipline from Ryu. He, yeah. he has an up smash pocket. Is that just going to fly forward? Uh, it'll, just, it'll just go up and down. Really? Oh, so she's gonna mimic the like the regular projection. Okay. It's really awkward. Like, the pocket mechanic is just very, very strange. Well, if you if you call out a jump, you can just send it up. I think it goes slightly up. I'm not too sure. I think probably someone in the chat knows better than I do. He's going for the read at this time. That's true. Okay. Yeah. I just watched the video. I think it was by my Smash Corner. I didn't watch all of it for like 20 minutes. You get the confirms off and down. It was yeah. It was showing all the ranges for Snake to like confirm like you can like just to maximize off of down throw. Mm -hmm. And Snake is just trying to pull out these grenades, but these slingshots are actually hitting them out. It's gonna be kind of frustrating, but he's actually able to find some way around it. It's actually Snake who's struggling in this projectile matchup. I think the reason is because you have someone who can kind of pressure you from like slightly afar, especially with like the aerials, forward air and back air. And then you have your pocket just to negate like one option. And he's able to use that great confirm off wow. using that void. It actually sets it up in a way where like you can't harass me as much and if you if you try to approach me like very linearly, like you're just gonna get caught by the downbeat. Yeah, but you also saw that grenade actually detonate yeah. the boy, so that could spell a little bit of a problem. But then also 
it just means that Melo will have to go out of his way to destroy it. Exactly. So he still got, he still have to go through these like, bears and bears. He has less mobility because of that down B there. He's not, like he can't just like run through and dash attack if he wants to. So kind of nice up smash is down. But it, up like, smash is safe on safe. Yeah, no, it, it limits snakes. Oh! Did he B reverse? He might have B reversed to do his last zone. That's unfortunate. What happened? I don't think they even know. I think it probably did the B reversal. But I don't think they even know what happened. I think they're both confused. But it's okay. Oh well. It's Moving okay. on forward. So yeah. yeah, I mean at first we saw how this spell could be at a disadvantage, but then we still see that Isabel is able to slowly whittle away between those bears and bears. And Snake does have really good nades, like I said, one of his best moves in this kit, but they take time to be thrown out. They come out fast, but throwing them out is a different story. Exactly. I wonder, okay, so he's opting for Battlefield. He probably wants more space, more survivability. If he does knock um, Isabel off, there's more room to breathe, set up his traps. A little bit more close quarters than PS2. Uh -huh. And PS2 was something that as well as able to really like, move around and help you. Like, just, yeah. just the general like layout gave her a lot of space um, to set up her traps, kind of force pressure, and like, see, you gotta be careful about the down beat. Like, uh -huh. if, yeah, see, if you try, that's a good thing versus Isabel. Is, wow, this is actually looking pretty dominant. Yeah, for a brew. brew, yeah. Because at first he was at disadvantage, but it seems like he started to get a read. And remember, Isabel's down smash comes extremely fast as well. It's one of her best smash attacks. And the up smash is safe on shield. And, but the C4 F as smash well. is safe on shield? Mm -hmm. What else is safe on shield? Up smash? Um, perfectly spaced out fair and fair because they'll put their projectiles. You can do a potential cross up, I okay. think, with Nair. What's her weak what's her weaknesses? Uh, she's a very light character. Um, just like most projectile characters, if you manage to get in on her, she kinda struggles. Um, you can see that she's not using her rod a lot. So that does put oh, you in a bad yeah. situation. Why is that? Uh, because Rod does put you in a bad situation. It takes time to come out. And as well as you can snag projectiles as well. But with Snake, who actually gets his stock taken out, why use a Rod when you can use his perfectly spaced out aerials so, and you can use the Rod like that to recover? The um, the, the, the reason down air was so good is because when Snake latches from, below, latches from below and he snaps ledge and the Cypher peeks through, mm -hmm. the down air cancels the hitbox, but it's a lingering hitbox. And it's, because it's lingering, it's still covering the two-frame zone. So it cancels the Cypher, is put into the two-frame zone, so he's forced to get hit no matter what. And as long as you time it correctly. And it's supposed to take the situation. And great job. This time, Melo knew last time that grew oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. But it was unable to find the punish right. off of them. Right, good read, but uh, didn't get the execution. I mean, that's kind of the worst part of what you know exactly what you're going to do. You go for a hard read, but unable to find anything to get out of it. Hey, you get Tony. That's exactly what I was doing. I was literally asking, what are the weaknesses? What should I look out for? Because I'm probably playing her next. Or Isabel next, yeah. Oh, yeah, you're up next after this. Yeah, one, that's literally why I asked. And but she's I'll also uh, she's also a featherweight as well. So I think the zero to death combo requires you to use the Sarah to the follow up there. Yeah, so we're going to look for a po Oh, he intentionally dropped it to the pocket. Because, uh... Yeah, that's gonna be a problem. That's right so there. frustrating. It's gonna be a problem because right now it's Look gonna come that. out. It comes out at max speed when it comes out. Wow. Yeah, so that's gonna be a really big problem. And misses the downer as well. It's really frustrating to deal with as well with Rage and almost got the read with it. And the up tilts are not connecting though. But that is going to be a really big problem. And these nades are slowly, they're, they're chipping away. But remember, Snake this event is actually kind of difficult to get out of. Yeah. What are uh, Isabel's best stages? I'm curious. Um, <laughs> Am I allowed to give you this? Yeah, you can. No, it's, it's for the stream back, right? Uh, it's, it's for, oh, yeah, for sure. In case you guys ever come across this. Alright, so definitely, like you said earlier, Pokemon Stadium 2 is going to give her a yeah. lot of room to breathe on. What about Town? Uh, Town? Yo, that was, that was a nice conversion. I like that. Alright, let's see what he reads. Are you really here to call? <laughs> yeah, I am. Are you really here to call? Or are you just, here just going to get more yeah, knowledge? I'm making jokes. Uh huh. Sorry. I'm not sorry, though. <laughs> I'm not sorry. But he's able to use it, and Snake also probably wants to go on Battlefield because when you put the C4 on the on the platform, that covers the entire area. Yeah, he has cool. momentum. He's bringing this back. The thing is, I, I think he found out he has to play a little more aggro, less projectiles, and he's actually been converting a lot. Because Snake's side tilt is one of it's a really good move. It's better than this jab, is what people argue, and he's looking for this up tilt Look at as this. well. It's actually he's bringing it all the way back. You see a pocket? Ooh, pressure. It's pressure. Uh oh. But he's able on one up tilt. 
because uh, you know you were mentioning earlier that snakes uh, were able to use those nades, right? It's one of those best moves. But you know how snakes players would love to trade with their nades. But when you're at disadvantage, you don't want to be eating unnecessary percents. And that's exactly what Rui is doing right now. He lands the grab. What's the read? Can he finally get it? He that does. Was so Melo can bring this back. He just has to acknowledge that his aggression without projectiles has been paying off a lot. And, he's and I think he... Uh -oh. ooh, That's an up smash? At least he knows it's going to go one way and one way only. And he can't pocket it twice, so he's, so he's actually free. Is he, if he knows that Isabel has something that is kind of like not really too... Too lethal. Too lethal in terms of his use right now. He's able to use more projectiles. I think he realizes this he's until he uses. Yeah, he's got the C4 down, and he's still got that border oh, option available. Down, okay. So this can be either way. We're gonna call an up smash read. Uh -huh. Here, see, so he goes directly up like that. It falls six. Trajectory, wow. and he reads it again. He brought it back. Yeah, he. That's did. called it. That's that's that is that's mid game. Snake. That was great. That was mid game adaptation. He realized the. By the way, they can't hear me. I'm too far away. Yeah. He realized the aggression without projectiles up close. So initially, Mello was playing the regular snake game. I'm gonna throw stuff at you. And then he kind of realized it's not working because this zoning does not work against someone who can pocket and also zone as well. So it can take my own like fire and throw it right back. Yeah, I was able to really fire back on it. And remember, snake can really bring back percents fast, especially with all this explosive power. Exactly. And we all see also what a great job by Mello. He constantly went for the read or for the roll, but he realized that Ryu loves using get up attack and get up. Yeah. And those are the two options that cost him the game, and immediately starting with the back attack. Like you said earlier, he needs this early aggression. He's doing such a, yeah, he's doing a really great job, and look at these set. You have to tap those, and with the grab read as well. He has to oh, there, he saves the jump, okay. So Rue's been doing a great job. I think what he figured out is if he's gonna go towards this, go to a stage. As much as like this is a zoning game, and see what I mean by if he whiffed a grab, he still got a grenade for it. Yeah, he's able to stay away from it. It's, it's a grenade for what just a lot of people like to say about yes. snakes. And he finally forced another tech situation. I'm noticing that a lot of missed techs no come in from Melo, and he's able to no get jump. away from them there. I don't it, know if he, has a, he doesn't have a sight. No, he doesn't. Oh, he does. Yeah, he finally actually has an air dodge to get no, away with There's no bears. down B in play, so he can't. Okay. Uh, he actually does the B reversal, but he's stuck on there. He does the grenade detonate so he can get he right He needs to get out of line. that corner. Rue is suffocating him. All right, so he can get behind. I don't even know if he has, uh, if Isabel has the down B out. What yeah, it's you? actually all on the left side. It is? What is, it, what is the actual move called? Lloyd. Is this called Lloyd? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I think there's different variations of it, but that's a fairly bad stock coming in right now. Rue, gonna go ahead and capitalize on that one. Here comes the Oh no, my god! You did. Who does that? He went for the hard read using that rocket directly to the okay. face. This is like a, a true test of someone's mentality. If you get hard red like that, you either crumble or you just have adrenaline and you keep going. So let's see what Rue does. I mean, he's stuck into the same game plan, but he's getting picked that, a few But more that creates moves. so much momentum, especially when it's in tournament game three. In game three. And the winner of this has to go against the amazing Mr. Conform. That's going to cause a lot of trouble to go for the down throw. He and he's getting that. Again, he, yeah. I think he hasn't. Well, actually, yeah, he's been doing the same, like, get up in place. He so does like, the neutral get up or, or get, get up, up attack. Yeah, get yeah. up attack. And it's bad when the caster is starting to realize what's going on right now. And the grenade comes down. He's doing a bunch of shield dash. He knows an up tilt will be lethal. And he misses the nice. grab with the up, up tilt okay. into the up air. Not bad. It's going to look pretty good right now, but he sees the grenades once more, landing on top of the C4. Great positioning by Rue, making sure to, he's standing right on top of his mine, knowing that Melo 30 seconds, will have to right? Is it 30 that. seconds for the mine? Uh huh, and it better, finally blows up. better watch out. Yeah, but lands right on top of it. It's hard to believe that they're on their two What's stops. the timing for the, for the Lloyd? Um, Yo. Oh, but hits him with the sour spot. There was actually able to catch it out. It's okay. Anyone's game. Yeah, it really does. If Rue's able to close the stock fast, then he'll do it. But remember last year with Mello, he had so much nice momentum grab. forward. And he does the grab with the back throw as well. Lloyd Rocket behind him. Nice pocket. And he's able to find a way with it. That Nair does so much damage. He let all the hits down. And here Takes comes the, the grab right onto nice. the nade. Mello's turned up. But I think Rue can bring this back. Yep. Exactly. As long as, as long as he has the correct mentality and mindset, he can bring it back. And I think he's kind of collecting himself now. But we're seeing right now. Nice to the ground. Yeah, ooh. He's Ooh. actually rotating back into the Lloyd combo. I was hoping he would do the footstool like 
side V thing. Oh that would have been the sickest thing. He brought it all the way back. Mel's like, okay, dude, you got momentum. Um, oh yo, my God, he called it out. Lead. That is what you need to do in game three. He gets the beer call, call out the panic. He calls out the panic option right now, but this is anyone's game. Remember, Isabel is back, quite baby. low. He's quite light and needs to be really careful. Snake trying to find a way around it. He's got it slowly coming forward. Yeah, Rune, go high. He has to go high. Rune knows they likes to go for this option, and he fast wow. falls down. He, when he rolls right into it, though. That's not going to kill just yet. But I think he was an end like to actually end it. Yo! Um, he does the Nikita, but he just gets away just, for, just in time. 154%. Is he's that fine. dead? No, it is Ooh, dead. That back Well done throw. to Rue. My goodness. That was anybody's game. He yeah. brought it all the way back. Yeah, have well fun. Well done. Have fun. I know. <laughs> well, at least I know it's a van. Uh-huh. Like Town and PS2 and Kalos <laughs> and three? FD. Anything with big... Yeah. I got to keep her close. Good stuff to Rude, Is dude. that cheating, me giving you information? No. How? You're not coaching. It's like not coaching during the set. <laughs> so you're fine. All right. Is it, te is it technically frowned upon when they're coaching on set? Can you, like, speak louder than them so they can't hear their coach? I don't know. But I think I need to go practice the zero to death real quick. <laughs> be right back. <laughs> so, you got to do what you got to do. Yep. Be All back. Right. Take care, Mr. Konkon. I'll see you later. What a nice guy. Make sure not to step on those wires. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh shit, I'm already live because I'm cussing on 2G Gaming stream already. <laughs> Production. So, yeah, welcome to the stream. Yeah. And we've got T3 Dome versus YMCA. And joining you on the microphone right now is the one infamous, uh, one and only, <laughs> fortunately for the world.